Okay. It's uh, hard to keep an eye on uh, recent uh, hardware development. I noticed last year that even some Kansas West attendees uh, didn't know anything about uh, SD Music Car, for example. There is a uh, fast chip to E, uh, Mega Audio Music Card, uh, SD Disk, and now comes from Bulgaria this ESP32 soft card made by CVT. His name is Ivo Stojanov from Bulgaria, Sofia. He lives on the southeast edge of the city. The card itself is available on eBay and Tindy. There already was a product named soft card with Z80 processor from Microsoft to run CPM, so second processor for your computer. This is the same, but the processor is ESP32. The card itself is almost empty, just the ESP32 with Wi-Fi antenna, micro SD card, you can connect speaker in and out, and some decoding logic. Latest firmware comes from March this year. And funny thing is that it doesn't require second monitor and it will work in both PAL and NTSC Apple computers. So what it allows you to do? It allows you to run Wolfenstein 3D on your Apple II GS but it's possible also without this card. So it allows you to run Wolfenstein 3D on any Apple computer. It allows you to run Doom, emulate black and white old Macintosh, and emulate old PC with DOS or Windows early versions. Then it emulates uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega uh, Master System, and uh, NEC PC Engine or Turbo Graphics. Then it's able to show high resolution and colorful pictures, play movies, play music, MP3s, and even stream the music over Wi Fi. Uh, bot on in the background, so you can run actually uh, what's on your uh, Apple II, Apple II program, and listen to the music streamed or played from SD card. Uh, content of the SD card is accessible via FTP. Uh, uh, you could uh, already have seen this. Uh, on uh, CVT's own channel or uh, on Action Retro channel. So, maybe you already know about this card, but now it's the opportunity to touch it and try it. Can we switch display? We will need sound.
it has nice joystick just utility it's able to beep this is what it is able to do It uses also joystick or mouse. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement. On the last couple of videos, I've worked on this Franklin because it's
The plan was uh, to uh, keep the computer here for you to touch and try, but now the keyboard is not working. I don't know why. So maybe this is the end of the show. <laughs> Um, I, I guess I had one question about the, this is about the ESP32 card, um, and it's probably super simple, but uh, one thing I have not quite understood is to what extent can the card communicate back to the Apple II? Um, so I know that you control the card to tell it to do things. Um, can I can I read information back from the card um, into the Apple II? Uh, if you mean in some sense that uh, you will uh, be able to do some computation, this is mm -hmm. not uh, included in the current firmware, maybe in future. But uh, the card itself communicates with uh, uh, Apple II. So there is some uh, way how to uh, start it, how to switch uh, output, mm -hmm. and uh, how to fall back to Apple II. For example, when playing music with the ESP32, coming back to basic and writing basic or playing games and still have the music playing or streamed, they communicate I that... some, some simple, simple way. Some it's not intended to push much data to the card. But... Now I will switch to Discord and answer the questions there. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you for uh, you know staying up late for this. <laughs> nice to meet you again. <laughs>